Hey guys, I have one more video to film today. I went to go pick up the mail and I got some, a package from Corey Lonza, a friend and subscriber here on YouTube. And I think she's over in one or more of the Facebook groups also. Um, anyway, let's see what she sent, shall we? Oh, there's a note with my name on it. I haven't gotten any happy mail for a while. So this was a very sweet surprise. I wasn't expecting it, at least I don't think I was. Let me read the note here, really quick, off camera. Ooh, pretty, look at the card. Oh, that's gorgeous. I might have to put, th I might have to put this in my journal for this month. Thank you so much, Corey. Oh, she sent me some fun stuff, it sounded like, in the notes. So let's see what is in here. You know, because I love art supplies. <laughs> but y'all knew that already, right? All righty. So, of course, the first thing I see on top are some Da Vinci um, watercolor paints. A little small, it almost looks like a sample pack. Um, basic. Um, which is great, but you can do a lot with these three basic colors. Maybe we'll have to make that a challenge and we'll just use just these three colors and see what we can do. Um, and in here we have, let's see, if I can get them out. Um, let's see, permanent, it's permanent artist watercolor by Da Vinci. This is Thalo Blue. This is Da Vinci Red. These are series three watercolors. I don't know what that means. I should probably put my glasses on so I can read the label. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. Um This is a very good light fastness on both of these. And this one is Da Vinci Yellow Series 3. Uh semi-transparent Uh, very good light fastness. Not, you know, excellent light fastness or anything. They're probably just sample, like, you know, um, you know, average grade watercolors, but I love a good watercolor. It doesn't really matter. I'm not that much of a snob about it. So let's put these over with my other ones and we will be playing with these at a future time. I can, this is going to be, this would be fun to just use just those three colors. What is this? It looks like a bracelet. Look at all these fun things, holy cow. Okay, sorry, I shouldn't get ahead of myself, I know, right? All right, look at this cute little pocket-sized mechanical pencil. This would be great for my travel watercolor kit. Wow. Yeah, it's got lead in it. That's fabulous. I love that. I'm going to have to put that with my kit. And this is an Alex and Ani Feather Charm Bracelet Silver Finish, which is I love. This is fabulous! <gasps> I love this. Oh, look how pretty it is with a feather charm on it. Made in the USA, infused with energy positive energy. So cute. That is wonderful. I should take the label off before I try to put it on, right? But you know, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, I love it. I do have kind of fat, fat hands, but I love it. It's gonna have to stay there now for a while. Look at all these pens and pencils. This is a Pilot V pen. Never heard of it before. And uh, everything's in Japanese, so I know nothing about it. Oh, it looks like it's a... Um, oh, it looks like it might be a version of the Varsity pen. Because it looks like it has a uh, the same kind of tip on it. Yeah, look. 
So we're going to have to test that against the Pilot Varsity and see if it works the same way. I see more YouTube videos happening in the future. So I got two of those. Those are cool. Okay, Corey, you're going to have to tell me where you got these. They look like something from like Daiso. But I don't think you have Daiso over in Florida. Look at this. I love these tricolor Koinor magic pencils and this one's all neon. And then what is this one? This is a Jerry's Artorama jumbo jet black pencil. That's pretty cool too. And these jumbo pencils now that I'm getting older and have arthritis in my hands. And this one now is partially numb since my shoulder surgery. Um, the fat pencils are easier for me to hold. So they, these are cool. Generals artist sketch and wash. Oh, water soluble graphite. <gasps> nice. I don't have these ones. I do now. Yay. What is this? A Sharpie pen. Oh, I love a good Sharpie pen. This must be a fine point. Yes. Nice. And what is this one? A pit artist pen. These are waterproof. Pit pens are waterproof. And this is extra, extra super fine. This will be fun to sketch with when I don't want it to bleed. Look at these. Oh, and some fun, fun. Look at this fun napkin. Sorry, I'm like all over the place. Look at these brush pens. Mose Art Brush Pen Set, ideal for artists, professionals, and budding hobbyists. Okay, I think we just need a piece of scrap paper. I can't wait for another video. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get some of these puppies out and do something with them. Here's a piece of watercolor paper. This is another Fabriano sample. This is 300 pounds, so it's super thick. And before somebody says anything about, oh, you're going to use 300 pounds to just goof around, it's a sample, people. I got it for free. All right, this is the Pilot V pen that she sent me. And then let's do one. I just had it out earlier with the Pilot Varsity pen and they look, you know, they're decorated differently, but they look the same. Yep. It just has different packaging. I bet you that, I bet you it's the same pen. I would say this one is just the slightest ever so much um, of a fatter tip, bigger tip than the other one. It's a teeny tiny bit finer, but not too much. Let's get a brush and some water and see what happens. Yes, it does. It, it, it reacts just like the other one. I love it. So Pilot V Pen and Pilot Varsity Pen, no matter where you are in the world, same thing. Same pen. Nice. Okay. This is the Coin or Magic Pencil that she sent me. It's the neon colored one. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Is that fun or what? All those different colors are in the pencil. Love a good neon. Uh, this is a Sharpie pen, if you don't know about them. This one and the Pit pen are both waterproof. And um, I'm not going to open up the graphite pencils right now, but let's play with the brush pens. Look at these. So pretty in their package. Now it doesn't say if they're waterproof or not. They're refillable, evidently. Oh, it's truly like a brush. You know, a lot of times they say it's got a brush tip, but it's just a flexible, like, felt tip. This actually has bristles on it. Can you see that? Nice color out of that pink one. A 
it's truly like if you're coloring with it. Can you see that? It's like got a brush. It's like a paintbrush. Interesting. Okay, so let's see if it moves. It does. Oh, those are going to be fun to play with. They're water soluble and blendable. Look at how they blend. They blend nicely. Is there a yellow? There is a yellow. Let's put some yellow. Nice. I am going to have so much fun playing with these. Thank you so much, Corey. I appreciate it so much. I love the bracelet. I don't know if it's going to come off for a while. Um, this was such a great surprise. I was not expecting it. I, but I appreciate it so, 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 so very much. Um, and your card is going to go in my journal for this month. In fact, I'm going to put it over with my journal so I don't lose track of it. All right, that's it for today. Corey, thank you so much again. Um, if anybody else would like to send me happy mail, you can. My address is in the description below all of my videos. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, show each other and yourselves some love. If you would like to support my channel, by all means, go and shop over at my Etsy shop. The link is in the description below along with all my Facebook groups and all of that stuff. A bunch of information. Where to buy my book, where to buy my stamps, all that stuff. Um, the most important thing is to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And maybe do something nice for somebody else too. That's it for today. I will talk to you later. Bye guys.